right, I'm back with our fourth group of Ag Education FFA students this morning on KSMO's FFA Day. I have with me three young ladies and a young man. They're all veterans of at least one year in ag. In fact, some of them have two years in ag, and so they will have a lot of different experiences they can share with our listening audience. First thing I want to do is ask them to introduce themselves, tell a little bit about your your background. You can mention who your family is. If you're not, you know, if you kind of like your family, if you don't, well, that's up to you. It's uh, there are no wrong answers, okay? So whatever you want to want to do. So we got three young ladies, one young man. I don't know who wants to start, but it just it I can start. That's well, fine. Go ahead, Braden. <laughs> That's great. Uh, my name is Braden Hedrick. My dad is Justin Hedrick, and my mom is Summer Hedrick. Um, my background is helping my dad farm currently. Uh, I go with him out in the field. We're checking heifers right now. He made the great idea that we were going <laughs> to do some, um, uh, what is it, spring calving. Yeah, spring calving. And, uh, yeah, that was hard the last two weeks, like two weeks ago. Uh, we had, like, three I think and it was right in the dead of this winter hit that we had and uh, I mean that's about it I just go out and help him with the cows and feed and everything else. Brayden says that and there's a phrase that come to mind from the creed joys and discomforts of agricultural life right and I see a few other heads come up now. Okay that's Brayden one of the young ladies I don't care which one goes next. Allison? My name is Allison Manthe and my mom and dad are Jeff and Shandy Manthe, and my background right now is babysitting and hopefully getting ready to get pigs for our FFA. That's getting close, isn't it? All right. It is. Now, the other two are debating who's going to go first, and I think, I think Faith got the, got the microphone, so anyway. Uh, my name's Faith Pace. Uh, my parents are Carrie and Eric Pace, and my background is... Um, poultry because that's what my SAE is and that's it. Okay, very good. Um, my name is Katie Chapman. My parents are Bob and Kelly Chapman and I raise dogs and beef and dairy cattle. Yeah, Kennedy has a pretty varied uh, SAE and that's basically answered one of the questions I was coming up with, with later was talk about your SAE. So if there's anything else you can add about your SAE, it would be all right. So is there anyone? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you shot that question, just, but that's okay. It's okay. Now as these, uh, these four <laughs> talk uh, and introduce themselves, uh, I have a long, long, long line of uh, family background with all of these, having had uh, two of them I had their dad and their granddad, uh, or one of them, dad and granddad and ag, dad and ag, dad and mom and ag, and I've known Kennedy's dad for ever, <laughs> going clear back to when he worked for uh, State Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, Ag Education Division, so I've got a, quite a background with this, this group. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's a good thing, and I view it as a good thing. All right, let me ask you a question that I'd like for all of you to address, and that is, why did you decide to enroll in ag education? Okay, why did you enroll in ag ed? Who's first? You want me to go first again? <laughs> a volunteer. You should be great kid, Braden. Go, go Braden. <laughs> um, I enrolled in ag education because, number one, my dad recommended it to me, and obviously I have the background for it. And number two, there was things that, I liked that involved it like plants and I don't know why but ever since this year that I went to the grasslands management team I think is what it's called with Miss J I've just loved the plants and everything about it and that was one of my job ideas when I get older is becoming an agronomist you need to make a trip to the uh, plant science center at the University of Missouri and you will you're you're you'll go crazy <laughs> not crazy crazy but it's just phenomenal what's uh, what's available at the university. You'll get there. You'll get there. Okay, why the rest of you? Okay, so mine would probably be because my older brother first started out showing pigs, 
and I had a couple of rabbits, and then that got to more and more and more, and so finally, I had a Flemish giant, and I showed him, and after that, we moved up, and I did a year of chickens, and I hated that, hated the chickens, and then now I absolutely adore pigs, so I kind of just stuck with the pigs. So the animals is kind of the reason that you wound up in ag education, ag prophetic. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, mine would probably be that um, I started in 4-H, and I really liked it in there, and so FFA is um, the next step up from that, so that's kind of how I started. It's kind of a natural transition <laughs> as you get into high school to move over in FFA, uh, and I know in Dent County we have a tremendous positive relationship between uh, 4-H and FFA, so uh, it's definitely a, definitely a plus and very understandable. All right. Kennedy has turned the microphone. We have only three mics for the students, so they have to share one, and they are working with, working with it quite well. Go ahead, Kennedy. Um, I just joined um, Ag Ed because my family's always been in Ag class, and my dad was an Ag teacher, and my brother was an Ag teacher both for a little bit, so. Yeah, it just, you almost. Uh, the, it was a class that was basically already written on the, <laughs> on the deal, so. <laughs> What would have happened if you decided not to? I guess I would have been fine with it, but I probably would have been in it the next year. Yeah. Kind of thing. And we find that very often is uh, that we'll see students that won't come in their ninth grade year, but they'll come in their se uh, sophomore year because they had a close friend that had it as a ninth grade student, and then they found out that, oh, this, this is a positive program. It's fun. Uh, it seems like it's easy because it's so much fun. So there are a lot of different reasons for, for getting involved in it. I'm glad we've got a group that's had quite a bit of FFA experience, even though they've also had the experience, as all high school students have, of the uh, disaster, <laughs> for lack of a better word, the influence of the COVID cancellations and uh, interruptions. But uh, you might share, since you're a veteran of having quite a bit of experience in ag education. What's been a favorite activity? And it doesn't matter who starts again. I can tell you what my favorite is right now. <laughs> <laughs> like it said, those plants are rolling through my head when Miss J told me that they needed people for the grasslands team. I I wanted to do it. And, and I will tell you, I've had former students. I think of one in particular. And in a little while, uh, one of the students here is going to read the name of the business that this young man works in today and did grassland and then he talked about how once he got in the business which actually uh, well I just have to go ahead and say it it was it was John Goaty is who I'm referring to and w once he got in the construction business and the earth moving and landscaping and all the different things that the Goaties do, he really was able to apply a lot of what he'd learned on that grassland management team. And I'm sure as you've worked with Braden, as you've worked with Dad out there, you're starting to see applications of that grassland instruction you had in mm -hmm. re relation to that contest. And he's shaking his head with the firm team, and you've probably heard him agree. So, okay. Uh, my training is left me. Oh, yeah. What was that's the question? That's, that's where I'm at. Oh. Okay. Favorite thing in FFA. Yeah. Some of the favorites. <coughs> oh, okay. So I think my favorite thing is just, okay, so Howard and Ms. Cheryl, obviously my favorite. I love them both. But being able to go in and have Miss J or Howard every day is kind of my favorite. And even if, like, you need help on something or there's something that they can teach you, they will put everything to their best ability to try to teach you that. You put it really well. Uh, we've talked about, uh, with other groups, the, the family aspect of ag education at the faith. But you, you really summed it up there as where it starts is with, with your two ag teachers, and then it, it just grows from there. Okay, something else, another um, my favorite part about it was dairy cattle judging when I got the same score as Kennedy on our reasons. 
<laughs> and I'm sure there's more to the story on that, but there a- is. Would you like to hear? It? <laughs> um, so we were at a dairy contest far away. I think it it was at Crowder. It was at Crowder College, la- or would have been freshman year. And um, so I told Faith that she needed to be on dairy judging with me because I didn't want to be by myself. <laughs> so she did, and we went there, and uh, we were doing our reasons, and mine were really good. And I, you know, I had them all memorized and such, and was saying the reasons. And Faith read off her paper, and we both got a 45. And I was talking to the guy. He went to RTI, and Luke, my brother, works at RTI. So I was like, oh, I'm in. I got this. This is a great <laughs> score. And then when I got the same as Faith, oh, I was mad. So that's the story. And it is a very humorous for the rest of us, I'm not sure everybody here around the table sees the humor in the story. I That's because they fight over everything, <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> that's cool. Definite close friendship, and that, uh, that's positive. All right, that's uh, some of the favorite things. Uh, what other kinds of activities have you been involved in in ag education at the faith? Um, so recently, um, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, or the day before, Wednesday, Wednesday, we went to uh, Food for America. We talked to the fourth graders, and that was really fun. Um, and just because I love beef days so much is why it was fun for me, and I present on dairy cattle and bull. So it was just fun, especially because of the absence of beef days this year. It was just something that I felt like was needed, and it was it was pretty fun to do. Every group, this, of course, you're just the fourth group, but three of the four groups having veterans in it, Beef Days keeps surfacing again as uh, one of the activities that's a favorite, one of the activities that we really miss having. And uh, and we've also talked about with some of the other groups the, the positive aspect, too, of Beef Days and Food for America both being uh, a chance for FFA members to uh, actually – show off, quote unquote, FFA to elementary students. So to kind of see, here's some high school students doing something that's really, really pretty cool. Okay, so what else, uh, other activities? You guys are doing good because you all have had, fortunately had lots of experiences and lots of different activities. Faith? Um, Beef Days was also one of my favorites and the Food for America thing too. Um, I also pre- I presented on poultry both times and um, it was just a really good experience and I like presenting both stuff. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm really not sure what my favorite would be, but I have never been to Beef Days, but we have done, like, certain things through the school and certain meetings and type of stuff like that that I really liked. Okay. Excellent. Anything to add, Braden? Mm, expo, maybe. That's about expo it. Be it. I, I like the expo going out there and setting and being able to hang out with people and talk to people and then in the end sell your animal and make money on it. Yeah. And and it's so cool. We talked to with the last group about it. It was such a positive thing that we were able to have the expo last year, even though during the summer was a, a high point in the positivity rate on on uh, COVID, but uh, still able to do it. And, and basically, to our knowledge, there was no problem afterwards mm-hmm. with uh, with any folks coming up with uh, with that. Uh, so that's that's some of the things that uh, these guys have been involved in uh, that they would list as their favorites. Hopefully, before you guys get done with high school, hopefully we'll get some of this more back to a, a normal type of year like you had your ninth grade year. We'll hope. Um, what have you found to be most challenging in ag education at the faith? As you look back, what were some challenges and what was the biggest one? Anybody? I know that's kind of a, a question you don't lots of times think about the challenges you've had, but if you do, Kennedy? Um, I think my challenges were not um, presented in, in the classroom as much as they were um, outside with my SAE. I've had a lot of difficulty with my dogs the past couple years. I started out with some older dogs, and I've had to – buy new breeding stock and figure all that out and I've had a lot of trouble with that but hopefully in a couple weeks I'm going to have some puppies which has been a long time coming so I'm very excited for that Sure. and my steers I just I don't have the best luck 
Um, I've had one get warts and not make weight and had one run off, gone for a week at the <laughs> jackpot show last year. And those are just, that's what you get when you do it. That's what you get. So I did a uh, show us here at the expo last year. It was my first time after a couple tries, but it was really fun. And, um, I just, me and my family are just really impressed about how, the community really is just a huge part and makes the expo what it is. I've shown in Rolla um, ever since I was old enough to, and just compared to Rolla, it's it's two times as better if you're talking about money. So it's just it's a great thing. Money is one measure, but also yes. the involvement of the community uh, and the attendance, and the I think as well uh, the work ethic among the exhibitors and families generally at uh, uh, Dent County is uh, superior to all, a lot of other places, really uh, is. And that's it's just an unsolicited commercial for the expo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, where else, uh, what else are we dealing with here? We gotta make sure that. Um, I can take what Kennedy said and flip it around because I'm a very hands-on learner when it comes to things. And when I'm out with my dad, I can learn things hands-on doing it. And then when I get into the classroom, those things that I haven't been taught from him or learned from him, it makes it ten times harder. Huh. That is a little different flip on it. So mm -hmm. <laughs> absolutely. Interesting. Um, contest teams. Have we dealt with that at all? I don't think no, I don't think so. You know, I don't look forward to getting down to the seventh one and trying to remember what I've talked about and what I haven't talked about. But we'll make it through. Always, we always do. Uh, we've done some contest teams. I know I uh, already talked about dairy cattle, so we've touched on a little bit. What's going on this year in terms of contest teams? What do we have in the plans? Um, me and Kennedy are this year are involved in dairy food judging. Yes. Okay, dairy foods. Um, I'm actually on two, but we haven't started practicing for the second one. The first one is like, I guess it's not technically a contest team, but it's sort of like that. We can't get anybody to show up for practices, which kind of need that. But um, this is my first year on them, so I don't really know how that's going to go. And they are? Um, livestock judging, and some it's like a debate team. Ag issues. Well, I, it's, somebody it's earlier s said debate, and I wondered about that. Yeah, ag issues. Uh, I thought maybe it was another new one that then slipped in that I wasn't aware of, which is always possible, of course. But, yeah, ag issues has been around for quite a few years as well, uh, about the last decade, I guess. So, Anybody else going out for Allison's going to make me sound bad because I'm on the livestock judging team. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know we had practice. So, No, not that one. Which one? Um, the issues? Ag Issues team. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Yeah, I'm on the livestock <laughs> judging team. Feel better now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, r and, and we have talked about this in other with other groups today, so if somebody's tuning in and listening to this group for the first time, it is important that you understand that uh, about the time that the cold weather and the s actually below zero temperatures, the ice and the snow and all that hit, was about when contest teams were really – planning to get started. Well, that put a halt in it. Then you get to this week with National FFA Week, and you've had some events going on this week, which included what all went on this week. You mentioned Food for America. Wasn't there some, there was another activity, wasn't there? Yes, there was. <laughs> Officers should know what it was. <laughs> yes, it was, Faith. Go uh, ahead. Okay. Um, the Green Hand and Chapter Degree Ceremony. Yeah, that was... Tuesday evening, I believe. Tuesday. Yeah. And uh, you got your chapter yes, degree, the Raiden did. Of course, these three gals being juniors, they all have those green hand and chapter degrees. So that's a plus. That's a plus. Let's uh, turn our attention to your future plans. Now, here we've already talked about your future plans pretty well for SAEs. But what do you got planned for your future? Uh, my gosh, this is almost impossible that you girls are all juniors you are and third quarter is over so you're a year from having all your decisions made about what you're going to do after school 
So what do we got planned? What's going on after high school? And they turn and look at one another like. <laughs> I haven't had it all figured out yet, but I have a plan. I have a line that I can walk by so far. I want to become an agronomist if possible. I want to find a place that I can have that job. But, I, I mean, that's just kind of my scratchbook right now. It's not for sure. Excellent. And, and I, I can relate in one aspect here. And sorry to go back to my history, but I didn't enjoy soils or plants as I didn't have ag as a high school student. I didn't enjoy them as a college student. They were classes I had to take. I'm sure you all have had classes you had to take, mm -hmm. and you didn't enjoy <laughs> them near as much as those classes you decided you wanted to take. But once I got into teaching, and actually we made a, a responsibility change to where that I was teaching all the second-year students plants and soils, the whole thing changed around, and I wished I'd have had that desire sooner, like you have now, mm -hmm. because there's just a, a world of opportunity out there. I'm sorry to get on kind of a soapbox or personal uh, events here, but that's I, I can really relate to uh, Braden's thoughts and, and pleased with that. Girls, what else? You're, you've got some plans for after high school. Kennedy, do you want to go? You're, you're like nope. sitting there on the edge of your chair there. Nope. Okay. I'll go, I guess. Um, I think I don't really know what I want to do, but I know that I just want to go to college right now. I just want to go and get like just the basics and then if I figure out what I want, then go for that. Okay. I, I was going to say something, but I'll shut up so the other girls get a chance to talk. But go ahead. Um, I am also undecided on what I want to do, um, but I've been to literally every field, so <laughs> there's got to be something. So. Um, I don't know what I want to do, and it's not. <laughs> it's with us. It's not a great place to be. My mom and dad really want me to figure it out right now. And I, I, I cannot. That. So I think I know what I want to do. Um, but I'm just going to wait till the last minute and then oh my gracious. figure it out then, I think. Okay. Braden's got it figured out. Yeah, of course <laughs> he does. For now. <laughs> Way to make us look bad. Girls, <laughs> listen to me. You're not in a bad place, even though mom and dad may think you're in a bad place because you don't have it figured out yet. Yeah. You know you want to further your education. Well, yeah. All three of them, yeah. We want to go to college. We want to further our education. We want to get our basics out of the way. I attended college for two years, and a year and a half of that, I was just kind of taking classes in agriculture because that's what I, my interest was. And I finally had made some friends that were in ag education. And they said, with your interest and your personality, you need to be taking the ag education curriculum and become an ag teacher. I thought, oh, all right. I'm not, I didn't have any direction. And rather than being a ship kind of floating without direction, okay, that's what we decided to do. And so I got that degree, and I wound up at Salem and taught for 40 and a half years here. And so it's, it's kind of interesting sometimes how life will help you determine where you should be. And you'll find that area of interest that really, uh, even though Faith says I have all these different experiences and I haven't decided yet, you'll find it because you're very capable individuals, you're goal-oriented, you set objectives, and you want to accomplish those objectives and goals. So you'll do well. Uh, how do you think ag is an an FFA, ag education FFA has benefited you? How has being in this program been a f benefit to you as an individual? Anybody? Being in Ag and FFA has probably <laughs> benefited me to help me find my goals. Because before this year started, I never thought about being or involved in anything with plants. But as soon as I got on that team, then that's when I decided that that's what I wanted to do. So it gave me the opportunities to be able to find my goals and what I wanted to do. Excellent. Okay. Faith? Yeah, I can make a fist of <laughs> 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 um, 
also, um, FFA has pushed me to, like, get out of my comfort zone because I don't like to talk in front of a bunch of people. And, um, like I said earlier, um, I was a presenter at Beef Days and Food for America. And that was, oh yeah, and the degree ceremony. And, um, so I don't like to talk in front of people and that's what FFA pushed me to do. I think FFA has brought me, like Faith said, out of my comfort zone. Miss J has pushed me to do this contest, these contest teams, and um, to speak in front of people. And between her and Howard, they have both really pushed me to start talking in front of people because I can't really do that. And now I'm here. Yep. And you have done an excellent job, as all four of you have. You still need to contribute on this last issue. Kennedy? What's the question again? <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good question. <laughs> oh, my gracious. What Benefits to you. Um, I don't know. I just like everything I get to do. Um, I like talking in front of people now. Um, I enjoy memorizing stuff and saying it good in front of people. And, like, beef days, I like getting the plan, organizing it, talk, talking to the kids about it. Um letting them learn something, and I like showing up Expo um, without being an FFA member. You don't get to do that, and so that's been a good experience, too. There's there's lots of things. Well, this has been an excellent group, these, uh, these uh, four. Uh, I know I'm going to brag on Braden a little bit because everybody was talking before that Braden will just get on here and just say yes and no. He won't talk it. very much, and they all four have done an excellent job. And uh, again, I think part of that, sure, is the experiences in ag education and FFA. Your whole life contributes to where you're at now, and that's just been a one aspect of it. Uh, I know when I think of Chapman sitting here, her, her family's uh, very, very goal-oriented. Dad has been in, involved in a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure he's had an influence over his daughter. Oh, yes. Most of it positive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to say that, so I thought I'd just keep her off the hook and say it for her. With that said, this group uh, has done an excellent job. I thank them. We're going to wind up with uh, Kennedy sharing some names of those many, many, in fact, uh, 40 or more businesses and individuals in Salem and Dent County that have made this FFA day on KSMO a possibility. Kennedy? Uh, so we have Goaty Excavating, LLC, Pratt, Mitchell and Company, PC, Duane Tire Service, Edward Jones, Wilson Mortuary, Salem Community Center at the Armory, Terrell Complete Auto Care, Progressive Ozark Bank, Salem License Bureau, Dogwood Grooming and Boutique, LLC, Common Grounds Bistro, Automated Business System, District 1 Commissioner Wes Mowbray and Family, and District 2 Commissioner Gary Larson and Family, and Presiding Commissioner Daryl Skiles and his family. There you go. Those folks and those many businesses have made it possible. We'll share those again as we deal with the uh, last three groups this afternoon. So with that said, thank you again, Braden, Allison, Faith, and Kennedy. Excellent job. I'll turn it back over. Jim Allen.